It's called Old Home Week, and it's almost as old as Canada itself. In fact, it takes place at the birthplace of our country, Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. And Toyota Canada has selected this area to launch its brand new Camry. And it seems only fitting since Toyota is the number one selling brand here on the island. More on that later. But first, as we all know, the hot topic of conversation these days is the future of the automobile. What's going to fuel it? Who's going to drive it? Maybe not us human beings. Well, over the next few weeks, we're going to try and find some answers to those questions. But we thought we'd begin this week by maybe looking at the biggest issue for all of us as we move forward, and that is our safety. At the moment, when you mention autonomous cars, everyone just seems to think that you take your hands off the steering wheel if the car even has one, and you sit back and read your emails or, or do whatever. I will switch to automated drive mode. This technology may be possible in the future, and drivers may not have to pay attention at all, but that's not the case today. Today, the driver still needs to pay attention. Please take the wheel. When we think about vehicle automation, it's really good to use the Society of Automotive Engineers uh, classification system which takes you through five different levels of automation. The first level really doesn't do a whole pile. The second level gives you things like lane keep assist where the steering actually turns you back into the lane if you begin to wander out. The system will provide small corrective steering inputs to the steering wheel for a short period of time. The industry today is at best at level two. There's a lot of vehicle automation on the road as you drive around today. And Toyota has been a leader in that space, particularly with Toyota Safety Sense and with you know, sensors that detect if a vehicle's going out of a lane and helps to correct the course or cruise control systems that use sensors in order to detect slowing cars ahead and adjust the speed of your vehicle or in some cases apply brakes and so forth. The reason that they're bringing autonomous braking in is what happens in the event of a crunch. If you're traveling at 100 kilometers an hour, the likelihood of dying in that incident or in that crash is about 85 to 90 percent. If the autonomous braking steps in and slows the vehicle speed down to 80, the risk of dying or very serious injury drops to about 20 percent. I believe that as we move forward, our requirement as a society is that a vehicle operated by a machine is going to have to have an only acceptable outcome of zero deaths. And the ability for us to build technology that will anticipate all driving conditions, all driving situations, and to ensure that we have the integrity of the total transportation system in a way that we can get to that threshold is going to require an awful lot of work and an awful lot of social consensus. <laughs> Will it be the vehicle that's deciding in a crash who to be protected versus who to be saved, so to speak? Um, these are very complex decisions and they've often and always been made by humans. So are we comfortable having the technology make those decisions for us? And if that's the case, then how will technology decide? It's going to require an awful lot of work and an awful lot of social consensus. Technology by itself isn't going to resolve the issue of producing a safer transportation system. You have to look at both the question of the vehicle and the occupant or driver of the vehicle and, and learning how to ensure that the driver's knowledge of the car proceeds at the same pace as the technology. We're trying to work with educators, with road safety organizations, and through our own operations to try to get that information out to, uh, to the driving public. When the automakers are bringing these technologies along, they're giving us little baby steps where, okay, your car will follow the car in front and it will stop when it has to. Uh, okay, now the customer is good with that. The car will stay in the middle of the, of the lane. Okay, now you're used to that. You can't really put someone in an autonomous car that is fully autonomous and just say, where you go. Well, old home week festivities are continuing here in Charlottetown, but we are all out of time. But before we go, one final thought. I'd love to suggest to you that you put Prince Edward Island on your vacation bucket list. It's a beautiful place. People from all around the world visit here every year. But you know, on a day like today, it reminds us all why we are so proud to call ourselves Canadian. 
So if you're watching this on Facebook, please remember the big three to like, to share, and to follow. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. We've got 30 years of content. There's gotta be something you like.